Welcome Bulls fans to your weekly preview for October 12th and 13th, 2018 as the North Iowa Bulls head on the road to wrap up another two-week road trip with two games against the defending West champion Granite City Lumberjacks. We'll take a look at the preview for the Lumberjack series coming up here in just a moment, but first let's look back at this past weekend's games against the St. Louis Junior Blues and see how the Bulls fared last Friday and Saturday. We start with Friday night's game. First period, Will Beginski gets the Blues on the board less than six minutes in with this wrister, and St. Louis takes a one to nothing lead. Bulls get it back on the penalty kill, though. Jack Giddings along the wall says, I'll take it from here, thanks. Foot race, goal. Game tied at one, and Beginski again off this throw to the net. Taps it in on the doorstep, takes two to one lead to the intermission. We go to the second now. Michael Fouché tries to make a play behind the net. Jimmy McDermott just a wee bit too quick. The net yawning in front of him. Bang, tie game. And now we go to the third. Ivan Bogat with a blast from the left point all the way through. That's your game winner, and the Bulls grab a three to two victory. Saturday night, the Junior Blues score first again, 2-1-2. Two two. Oh, hello. Zach Lotus on the weak side gives it a rip and gives the home team a 1-0 lead. 26 seconds later, though, turnover here in the St. Louis zone. Not good news when Dean Donner is coming at you. That ties the game at 1. Junior Blues take command late in the second period. Another 2-1-2, two two, but it's all Zach Lotus on this one. Takes the lead with a top-shelf tally. And this time, it's Lotus behind the net setting one up. Joe Papa with a one-timer on the doorstep and a 3-1 St. Louis. Louis lead. Bulls were not able to answer. St. Louis wins the game and forces the split on the weekend series. With the split, the North Iowa Bulls are now 5-3 and three on the season with 10 of a possible 16 points in the NA3 HL standings. They're in second place in the West Division so far. Granite City is third, although with a better winning percentage, they've played five games and they've won four of them for a total of eight of a possible 10 points. The number one team in the NA3 HL West so far with seven games under their belt and 12 of a possible 14 points is the Rochester Grizzlies. Here's your need to know the two biggest things you need to know and the two biggest storylines for this weekend's road trip for the North Iowa Bulls and the Granite City Lumberjacks up to Sauk Rapids and that involves the history of the two teams in the NA3HL playoffs. The North Iowa Bulls have won three and the Granite City Lumberjacks have won three. That's six of the first seven NA3HL Frazier Cup National Championships. The Bulls won it all in 2013, 14, and 16, and Granite City won it all in 2012, 15, and 17. The Metro Jets are the only other team to ever win the Frazier Cup. They won it last year as they left the league for the USPHL. The other thing you need to know for this weekend is the division championship history of the two teams. With the North Iowa Bulls in the Central Division over the last three years, the Granite City Lumberjacks have taken over the West, winning the West Division each of the last three seasons. No other team than the Bulls or the Jacks has ever won a West Division championship. Players to watch for this weekend include Zach DeBoom from Granite City. Three of his four goals are on the power play so far, and he's the team leader for Granite City with nine points. Noah Bissett leads with five goals, and you may remember the name Bissett. He's the younger brother of Brandon Bissett, who was a standout player for the Granite City Lumberjacks over the previous two seasons. For the North Iowa Bulls, Ivan Bogach had a game-winning goal last Friday against St. Louis. He's second on the team right now with a plus seven, plus minus rating, and Cam Fagerly will be a player to watch. He leads the team both with three power play goals and two game winners on the season. North Iowa on the road Friday and Saturday night at Granite City. Both games start at 7.30 p.m. Both games will be on hockey TV, and Saturday night's game will also be audio streamed live on Mixler, so you're not able to make it up to Sock Rapids for the games this weekend. You can watch on hockey TV or listen for free on the Bulls Mixler channel as well. North Iowa returns home next Friday and Saturday night to begin a three-game homestand against the Breezy Point North Stars. The homestand will be a little bit longer than that, but the first three games will be against Breezy Point, and there'll be very special nights at the North Iowa Ice Arena for the Bulls and the North Stars as we celebrate our firefighters and our law enforcement Friday and Saturday night. 
Friday night will be Fire and Ice Night at the North Iowa Ice Arena with free admission for the firefighters and half price admission for firefighters' families. We'll also have a fire truck bounce house for the younger set as well as a hot wing eating contest during the game. Saturday night, it's Light It Up Night as we celebrate our local law enforcement. Law enforcement members uh, and officers will receive free admission and their families also will receive half price admission to next Saturday's game against Breezy Point. We'll also have a donut eating contest during next Saturday night's game as well. For all the news and information, check out the website, NorthIowaBulls.com. Check social media as well, Facebook and Twitter, at North Iowa Bulls. 7.30 Friday and Saturday night, if you're able, make it up to Sauk Rapids and check out one of the premier rivalries in all of Tier 3 Junior Hockey, or if you're not able to, Hockey TV Friday and Saturday night, and Mixler will have the call as well on Saturday night as the North Iowa Bulls look for a couple of wins against their arch rivals from Granite City. Until next time, Austin Drowdy at the North Iowa Ice Arena for your North Iowa Bulls.